Welcome friends. My name is Alyssa Mortar for those of you that might not know me. If you've unrolled your mat or just made a little space in your living room, I'm so proud of you for showing up and pressing play and just taking time for you. I just wanted to mention that in the description, there is a suggested playlist. If you want, you can download that, get that started right now, or you can just put on your favorite tunes and get ready to go. Let's get started. Let's begin in a seated position. You can just cross your legs. Sit up nice and tall, lengthen through your spine. Bring your hands onto your knees and then just close your eyes. Let's begin with centering. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Nice, breathe in again. Breathe out. Choose to just be present right here on your mat, taking this time for you. If you want, you can flutter your eyes open. Take a breath in, and then on your exhale, drop your chin down to your chest. Bring your left ear to your left shoulder. On your inhale, exhale, look up. Inhale, right ear, right shoulder. And then exhale, chin to chest. Nice, take a breath in, breathe into the back of your neck. Exhale. Inhale, right ear, right shoulder. Exhale, look up. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Take a breath in. Exhale. Nice, come back through center. Bring your right hand onto your left temple. Just press into your fingers as you draw your head gently down. So we're just kind of stretching out the neck here. Breathe into the left side of your neck. Go to the other side, come back to center. Bring your left hand to your right temple. Just kind of press into your fingers as you draw your head down a little bit. Take a breath. Exhale. Nice, come back to center. Bring your arms by your sides. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Big stretch. Bring your palms together. Exhale your hands to your heart. Bring your hands to your knees, close your eyes again. I like to start my classes off with a thought, just something to think about, something to meditate on during class. Creating balance in our lives is not easy. We are hungry, noisy people bombarded with stimulation and advertisements that promise us our deepest desires. Emails, commercials, billboards are all full of it. But when we don't purpose to create balance in our lives, we tend to fill every breathable space with activities, appointments, and stuff. It is anti-cultural to claim any space that is simply just space. Space to breathe, space to enjoy, space to be. But like the body, the mind and the soul need time to rest and digest. We need space, not more clutter, but more space. Space to reflect and journal. Space for closure and imagination. Space to simply be and listen to life's call to be present. Full schedules and spreading ourselves thin looks impressive, but in the end, we are the first to lose. The health and well-being of our body, mind, and spirit is a powerful resource. We have been given a gift in disguise during this season of life. This current season has forced us all to find a little space in our schedules space in our families, space in our homes. So don't fight it, lean into it. Let's use this time together on our mats to create some space. Bring your right hand onto your heart and bring your left hand onto your belly. We're gonna do a three part breath here, super good for our bodies, also good to promote meditative, feelings and thoughts and to just bring us to this space. 
So take a breath in, breathe into the space under your left hand. Let the breath travel all the way up into the space under your right hand. And exhale from your right hand all the way down through your left hand. Draw your belly button in. Breathe into your belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Breathe in, belly, ribs, chest. Let your collarbones expand. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Purpose to make space in your heart, in your mind, in your life. Bring your hands by your sides. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale over to the right, plant your right hand down, reach your left hand overhead. Get a nice big side stretch. From here, I love to find some fluid movement. So dip in and out. Just kind of drop your arm forward and back. Just find a little fluid movement for your spine, for your shoulder. One more inhale. Exhale. Maybe bend a little more over to the side. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. Breathe in. Breathe out, side bend, and find some fluid movement. Maybe you hear some pops and cracks. Just kind of wake up the body here. Let's loosen it up. One more breath. Exhale. Inhale through center. Reach your arms up. This time we're going to twist. Exhale, twist to the right. Bring your left hand on top of your thigh. Your right hand comes behind you like a little kickstand. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Sit up nice and tall. Exhale, twist. Maybe take your gaze behind you. So here, on every inhale, use this. So inhale, lengthen, make a little space. Maybe you can come out a little bit so that on your exhale, you can twist a little bit deeper. Take one more breath here. Exhale. Nice, inhale, reach your arms up, come back through center. Exhale to the left. Left hand comes behind, right hand to the thigh. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, twist. Maybe take your gaze behind you if it's comfortable on your neck. Breathe in. Make some space. Lengthen again. Breathe out and twist. One more breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. Sweep your arms all the way up. Bring your palms together. Exhale your hands to your heart. Take a cleansing breath in. Exhale. Beautiful. Let's come forward to tabletop pose. Come to your hands and your knees. Again, maybe you need a blanket underneath your knees. Otherwise, just come hands and knees. Shoulders come right over your wrists. Spread your fingers wide. Pointer fingers are parallel. Nice. Knees are a fist distance apart. And then just draw your lower belly in. Make a nice flat back. Feel how this feels in your body. And we're going to move through some cat cows. On your next inhale, belly drops, tailbone lifts, look up to cow pose. Exhale, round your back, tuck your chin into your chest for cat. Beautiful, breathe in, look up to cow. Breathe out and round. I wanna invite you to some fluid movement. So on your next inhale, look up to cow, but maybe rock your hips side to side. And on your exhale, round to cat. You can even press back to child's pose. This is your practice. So go at your own pace right now. Find some fluid movement. We want to twist the spine, bend it all different ways to loosen it up. Just continue to match your breath to your movement. Get to know your body. If you feel like a kink somewhere or where you need to send some extra breath, pause. Pause and breathe where you need it, where you need some extra space. Make more space in your body and your mind right now. Let's take one more round of breath. Breathe and look up, cow pose. Breathe out and round. Let's come back to tabletop pose. 
from tabletop, extend your right leg behind, lift your toes off the mat. Swing the right leg all the way over to the left, plant your toes down, whoops, look over your left shoulder and just get a nice side stretch. So we're just kind of breathing into the right side of the body here. You can press back through your heel and just take a few breaths, twisting the spine. One more breath here. Exhale. Nice, come back through center. So bring your leg behind, press back through your heel, toes are down, hips are square, engage the core, and then find your balance on your right hand, inhale your left arm out in front. With the core engaged, we're just gonna hold here for three breaths. So breathe in, keep your core engaged, and breathe out. You might start shaking, that's totally fine, you're doing it. Find a point of focus that's not moving, and let's take one more breath here. Super strong core, exhale. Bring your left hand down, right knee down. Inhale, look up to cow. Let's just release that. Exhale, round to cat. Next, come back to tabletop. Extend your left leg behind. We're going to do the other side. Toes are down, hips are square, and then just swing it over to the right. Plant your toes down. Look over your right shoulder. Just take a couple breaths here, pressing into your heel. Press energy through your heel. Just a nice side tw twist for your spine. And one more breath. Bring your leg back through center. Nice, so your toes are down, hips are square. Core is engaged here. Inhale your right arm out in front. We're just gonna hold, nothing too crazy. Breathe in. Breathe out, draw your lower belly in, nice and strong, take a breath. Exhale, one more breath, breathe in. Breathe out, bring your right hand down, left knee down, child's pose, knees come wide, big toes touch together, sink your hips to your heels. Reach your, for your fingertips forward, maybe your forehead drops down to the mat. You can either energetically reach your hands forward or bend at the elbows, rest your forearms down on the mat, press your heels down, your hips down to your heels. Now, if you were in a class of mine, I would be able to give you an assist. Since I can't, I wanna teach you this really cool assist I learned, so maybe just try it out. Grab onto the edge of your mat, just kind of tug up on the edge of the mat, grab onto it, and then as you're grabbing it, push the mat away. This is gonna push your hips down closer to your heels. This gives you a nice self-assist. Try it out, maybe it works. Maybe you're like, nah, not for me, that's totally fine. Let's take another breath here, breathe in. Breathe out. Beautiful, you can release the mat back down. One more breath. Exhale. When you're ready, press up through tabletop. Plant your hands, spread your fingers nice and wide, tuck your toes. We're going to down dog. So begin to straighten out. Make sure your arms are nice and straight, pa fingers are parallel, point your fingers are parallel. Begin to straighten out your back and arms. So you want these to be straight first. Maybe you're super bent in the knees, that's totally fine. Once you get all set up, pressing into your hands, begin to straighten your knees out. Maybe they stay bent if you're kind of tight. Bring your feet hip distance apart if you're tight, or you need a little extra space today, make some space, bring your feet out a little wider, totally fine. Otherwise, they're hip distance. Now from here, let's just begin to walk out the dog. Bend one knee, press your other heel down to the mat. Get a big stretch in your calf. And then switch sides. So take your time here. A lot of times we wanna rush through everything. We're making space. We're gonna pause where we need to pause and breathe where we need to breathe. Switch sides again, press down into your heel. And again, nice. Maybe find some stillness from here, set it up. Super strong in your hands, press into your hands. You do not have to have your heels down to the mat. Maybe your heels are lifted, most of the times they are. Draw your lower belly in and kind of press your chest toward your thighs. Find a moment of stillness. Find a moment of breath and space. Create a little bit more space in your practice. With every breath, we are able to release toxins and clutter in our body. 
Use the breath to create the space. One more breath. Open your mouth, exhale. Beautiful, inhale, rise up on your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step to all the way to the top of your mat, forward fold. So from here, you can bend your knees as much as you need, maybe catch opposite elbows, rock side to side, just release your spine. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no, release any tension in your neck. And just ragdoll here for a moment. Release your hands to the mat. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. So you can bring your fingertips to your shins. Press in and then lengthen your back. So your legs are straight. And you kind of want to even think about drawing your shoulders down your back. Breathe in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Reach all the way up through center. Bring your palms together. Exhale your hands to your heart. Arms come by your sides. We're in mountain pose, so feet are hip distance apart. Soften your knees, drop your shoulders, stand up nice and tall, and close your eyes. So many times we can allow, allow our minds to come away from this space, come away from our mat, so just bring your mind back here. Whether you're he hearing squeals of the kids, or maybe there's one climbing on you, or maybe you're distracted. Just gently guide your mind to this space. Let's create a little bit more space. We're gonna to begin to move through some sun salutations. Let's shoot for three sun salutations. So from mountain pose, inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, reach up, look up, exhale, swan dive, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step back, high plank. So set up your plank feet or hip distance apart, spread your fingers wide, draw your lower belly in. Shoulders are right over your wrists. Nice, from here, you can move through your chaturanga or your vinyasa if you have that in your practice. Otherwise, we're just gonna drop down to the knees, lower down to the belly, flip to the tops of the feet. Inhale, press into the tops of your feet and your palms as you lift up to a little cobra. Exhale, lower. Tuck your toes, come through tabletop. Downward facing dog. Let's take a breath or two here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Set up your dog. Spread your fingers wide. Press into your hands. Draw your lower belly in. Chest toward the thighs. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Rise up on your toes. Exhale. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step forward. Forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. So what we're gonna do is take your hands, clasp your fingers, press your palms up to the ceiling. Nice, from here, let's bend over to the right and then bend your knees, sweep down around, all the way up through center. Find a big circle, breathe in. Exhale to the left, big circle, down, around, all the way up through center, breathe in and reach. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step back, high plank. Nice, shoulders over rest, feet hip distance apart. Draw your lower belly in, take a breath in. Exhale, lower down to your knees, all the way down to your belly. Press into the tops of your feet and your palms. Inhale, lift up to a little cobra. Exhale, lower. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Nice, take a couple breaths here. Sun salutations are a way to warm up the body, heat up the body, so if you're starting to feel warm, that is the point. Let's warm up our bodies before we get too crazy. Take another breath. Exhale, make a little more space. Inhale, rise up on your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen, lengthen through your spine, exhale, fold. Clasp your hands, inhale, reach all the way up. So your hands are clasped already, press your palms up, exhale to the right, sweep it down around, bend your knees all the way up through center, and let's go to the left, exhale. <sighs> inhale, center, reach. Last one, exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step back, high plank. Breathe in. 
exhale, you can take knees to the belly, or maybe this time knees, chest, chin. So you're kind of just hovering over. Inhale, come through to upward facing dog or cobra. I'm in a cobra here, my thighs are down. Exhale, lower. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Take a few breaths here. We want to fill our lives with more clutter, more stuff, more things in our schedule, and yet right now we're forced to make space. So lean into it. Don't fight it. Make the space. One more breath here. I want to remind you that at any point during our practice, you can come down to child's pose at any time. Inhale, rise up on your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump forward, forward fold. Take a moment here, just catch your calves, draw yourself down. Breathe in. Make some space, breathe out, fold. Release your hands to the mat, inhale, halfway lift and lengthen through your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, bring your palms together, exhale your hands to your heart, mountain pose. From here, we're gonna start a little sequence. We're gonna go through one sequence, kind of build on that. So from mountain pose, inhale your arms all the way up. As you exhale your hands down to your heart, draw your right knee up into your chest. So here we are balancing. Making space is all about finding the balance in our lives. So we're gonna start by balancing. Find a soft bend in your left knee. So don't lock out your knee. Engage the core, drop your shoulders. Seems simple, but you're doing the work. You're balancing on one foot. Breathe here. From here, keep your core engaged. Super strong. We're going to come to a warrior three with the hands at heart. So begin to bring your right leg behind you. Toes are going to point down, hips are square. This is our warrior three with our hands at heart center. So draw your lower belly in. Find a point of focus that's not moving. Breathe there. This is not easy. Challenge yourself. If you have a block, you can bring a hand down to the block, down at the ground. Maybe reach one hand out in front. If you want to bring your arms behind, that's cool too. One more breath. Now begin to bend your left knee, step back to crescent. Right foot plants down. So your heels lifted, we're in crescent. Feet are in two lanes of traffic. Sweep your arms up, biceps by the ears, crescent lunge. Beautiful. I know I said that pretty quick, but we're in two lanes of traffic on the feet. Back heels lifted, heel over the ball of the foot. Engage your core. Long spine, drop your shoulders. Beautiful, breathe in. Breathe out. Bring your hands behind your back. Clasp your hands, draw your knuckles down, and just open up your chest here. Broaden across your chest. Look up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Beautiful. Unclasp your hands. Inhale your arms up. Exhale your hands down. So your right hand plants down, left hand sweeps high, low lunge with a twist. Nice. From here, let's find some fluid movement for the shoulder. Sweep your left arm behind, down around, and up three times. We're just windmilling the arm here. Find some movement one more time. Inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank. From high plank, let's move through vinyasa. You can come down to your belly. You have knees, chest, chin, or maybe work on chaturanga. So you're gonna shift forward, shoulders over fingertips, lower halfway or all the way to the belly. Inhale, upward facing dog. Upward facing dog, we're on the tops of our feet. Nice, drop your shoulders down, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog, beautiful. Take a breath here. Exhale. One more breath. Exhale. Inhale, rise up on your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. And exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, reach up. Bring your palms together as you draw your hands down to your heart. Lift your left knee up. 
Now, if you are like, oh, I needed a break, press pause. Best part about the video is you can just pause me, turn me right off. Otherwise, we're just gonna hit the next side right away. Soft bend in your right knee, engage your core, drop your shoulders. Standing up nice and tall. We're finding our balance, we're creating the space. When you're ready, begin to kick your left leg gently back with your core engaged, super strong. Hands can stay at heart. Or maybe you want to find a little counterbalance with your arms out or behind. Wherever you're at is totally fine. Again, if you have a block, one hand to the block, one hand forward is really awesome. Toes are down, hips are square. Keep that soft bend in your right knee. Chest stays a little bit lifted. When you're ready, start to bend your right knee. Step your left foot back gently, as gently as you can. Two lanes of traffic on the feet. Back heels lifted, sweep your arms up. Crescent lunge. Beautiful. So the back leg is straight. Sometimes our back leg is bent, that's fine too. But bend into your front knee. We'll work towards straightening that back leg. Keep your chest and gaze lifted. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring your hands behind your back. Clasp your hands, draw your knuckles down, puff up your chest. Nice, drop your shoulders back. Your shoulder blades draw together, knuckles draw all the way down. Breathe here. Release the bind, inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale your hands down, left hand stays down, right hand sweeps up high. Low lunge with a twist and we'll find those three windmills. Sweep your arm behind down, scoop it up and around three times. We're just working out the shoulder, fluid movement for the shoulder. One more time. And bring your right hand down, step back, high plank. If you want a vinyasa here, you can. Take your vinyasa, otherwise just press back to downward facing dog. So if you choose vinyasa, shift forward, lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, really press into the tops of your feet. Press back, down dog. So you always have the option to skip vinyasa. You can power up your workout, your practice, with vinyasas and chaturangas, super good for you. Or if today you're like, creating space means not doing those, taking a step back, that's fine too. This is your practice. From here, either stay in down dog or drop down to child's pose. We're gonna take a couple breaths here. If you're going to child's pose, drop down to your knees, knees wide, big toes together, sit your hips down to the heels. This is a great resting pose. Lots of teachers say that down dog is also a resting pose. I don't buy it because I think it's a lot of work. It's a tough pose. But if you are powering up your practice today, stay in down dog. Let's just take two more breaths, either in child's pose or down dog. When you're ready, we're all gonna meet in downward facing dog. Spread your fingers wide. Think about pressing into your pointer and your thumb, nice and strong, chest to the thighs. From here, on your next inhale, lift your right leg up high, three-legged dog. So three-legged dog, your toes are down, your hips are square. We are gonna power it up just a little bit today. Breathe in, and on your exhale, bring your right knee to your right elbow. Tap it, crunch it in, hover it over, and then kick it back. Nice, bring your right knee to your left elbow. Cross your body, tap the left elbow maybe, and then kick it back. Before we step through, let's draw the knee into the nose, round your back, and then kick it back. Beautiful, you're using your core for all this. You're probably gonna feel it. Step your foot all the way to the top of your mat. So we're coming back to crescent lunge. We're just going to stay in crescent today. From here, two lanes of traffic, back heels lifted, sweep your arms up. This is tough because we just did this side, but it's okay. You're going to fight through it. You're going to create a little extra space. We're going to power it up just a little bit more. Breathe in. On your exhale, sweep your arms behind. Hover over your front thigh. So reach your arms behind. Inhale, lift your arms back up to crescent. Beautiful, two more times, exhale, sweep. Arms come behind, hover, draw your shoulders together, inhale, lift. 
One more time. Exhale, sweep it back. Reach arms behind, hover. Inhale, lift, beautiful. Bring your hands behind your back. Clasp your hands, draw your knuckles down. We were just here. You've got this. From here, we're gonna put it all together. Start to lean forward. If the bind is too much, release the bind. Otherwise, reach forward, lift your left leg, pop off your left foot. We're in warrior three with the bind. Keep a soft bend in your right knee. Engage your core. So again, you can stay right here or maybe you release your hands and just reach them one to a block, one forward, or maybe reach them behind. This is tough. You've got it. Ooh, nice. Breathe here. One more breath. Exhale, step back with control. Bring your hands down to frame your foot. Left hand down, right hand high. Low lunge with a twist. One breath. Exhale your right hand down. Step back, high plank. So again, you have the option. Take a vinyasa or just press back to down dog. I'll show you what that looks like. Just press back. I'll give you some time if you want to power it up, work on your chaturangas. Go there. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. We just have one more side of the body and then we'll be done with the tough part. We are making space, sweating it out, releasing toxins with every breath. Make the space. Let go of expectations. Let go of clutter. Inhale, lift your left leg high. So your toes are down, your hips are nice and square. Breathe in, press back through your heel. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, tap it, crunch it in, and then kick it back. Awesome, left knee crosses the body to the right elbow, tap, beautiful, kick it back. Bring your knee into your nose, round your back, draw your knee in, super strong, and then kick it back. Step your foot to the top of your mat, crescent. Feet are in two lanes of traffic. Inhale, arms up. So go through your checklist again. Two lanes, back heels lifted, super, super high. Reach your arms up. One teacher told me where your, your gaze is, your heart goes. Where are you focusing your gaze? Let your heart follow. Heart's lifted, gaze is lifted. Awesome, let's find our little powerful sweeps. Bring your arms up, reach up. Breathe in, exhale, sweep your arms back, hover. Reach your arms back, super strong. Inhale, lift them up, crescent. Exhale, sweep, hover over your front thigh. Reach your arms back. Inhale, lift, one more time. Exhale, sweep it back, hover. Inhale, lift. Awesome, bring your hands behind your back, clasp your hands, draw your knuckles down, broaden across your chest. And then we're gonna find our warrior three, last one, I promise. Start to lean forward. If you wanna just pop from here, that's fine. Or maybe bump your back foot up and then just start to lean forward, lift your right leg, toes are down, hips are square. Keep that soft bend in your left knee. Chest stays lifted, knuckles press away. Awesome. You've got this. I know that wherever you are, you're breathing and creating more space. You showed up. That's the hardest part. Keep showing up for yourself right here on your mat. One more breath. Exhale, you can release your hands down, step back. Right hand stays down, left hand high. So your right foot steps back, left foot stays forward. We are in a little lunge with a twist. Bring your hand down to frame your foot. Step back, high plank. Hold your plank here, draw your lower belly in. Super strong, shoulders over wrists. Right when you feel like you just can't anymore. I can't do this anymore, life is so hard. I can't social distance anymore, it's too hard. You just keep going and creating more space and finding more to be thankful for in the midst of the chaos and the crazy. One more breath. You can absolutely do this. Drop down to your knees, child's pose. Knees wide, big toes touch, hips to heels, drop your forehead down. If you wanna get more of a stretch for your arms, maybe bring your palms together so your elbows can come down on the mat lift your fingertips to point up and then drop your thumb behind your neck you're going to get a little bit more of a stretch if you have blocks you can put your elbows up on the blocks you're going to feel that more in your arms and your shoulders take a few breaths this 
This is a beautiful time to come back to your intention. Right here in child's pose, come back to your intention. Maybe your intention, maybe you joined us in this intention of creating space. How can I create a little more space? How can I remove a little bit more of the clutter from my body, from my mind, from my heart, from my home? Or maybe you set your own intention. What did you choose when you showed up to your mat? What did you say? I want to get through this. I want to find strength. I want to find stillness. I just want a little bit of peace. Whatever it is, come back to your intention. Breathe with your intention. Lean into the space, not away. Don't fight it. Create more of it. From child's pose, breathe in. Allow your belly to fill and to expand. It presses away against your thighs, maybe. Open your mouth, exhale, and let it go. Sigh it all out, big sigh of relief, creating more space. Breathe in, let your belly fill and expand. Open your mouth, exhale. Let it all go. Create a little more space. When you're ready, press yourself up through tabletop. Tuck your toes, we'll meet in downward facing dog just for a little bit. Lift your hips, sits bones to the ceilings, downward facing dog. Take a breath here, exhale, and then gently, slowly with care, begin to walk your feet all the way to the top of your mat, forward fold. From here, your legs did an awfully well, a lot of work today, so bring your hands, maybe start at the tops of your thighs and just draw your hands down, press in as you draw all the way down, drawing your torso closer to your legs, and fold, crown of the head's pointing to the ground. You can also take peace fingers to your big toes and draw yourself down as well. We're just looking for a nice hamstring stretch here. You did a lot of work. Give yourself some more love and breath and space. One more breath. Exhale. Release your hands. Slowly roll all the way up to stand. Let your head and shoulders be the last thing that comes up. As you rise, roll your shoulders back. And roll your shoulders forward. Maybe you need to shake it out. We're going to stick with our balance theme here and find a little balance. Eagle pose. This is a really great pose for balance. Also really great for posture and spine. This is going to really lengthen out your spine. It helps from all the rounding we do to really open up. So find your balance on your right foot. Feel all four corners of your foot. Soft bend in your right knee. Take your left leg, bring it over top. Left thigh comes over top of your right thigh. Maybe you just bring your foot down, make a little kickstand. This is kind of like step one. You're gonna take your right arm underneath your left and wrap it up, press into your palms, lift up on your elbows. This is like step one. Your toes are down, you have a kickstand. If you wanna lift up, really engage the core wherever you are. Start to wrap your foot around. In order to do this, you need to sink. Engage your core, lift up on your elbows, press into your palms, and breathe here. Find a point of focus that's not moving and just breathe. If you're wobbling, that's fine. If you're falling out, just get back at it. Try again. Use the core, lift up on your shoulders, open that back. Let the shoulder blades open up here, lengthen through your spine. One more breath. Exhale, release, unwind, shake it out. Shake it out. Bring your hands behind your back. Clasp your hands. Draw your knuckles down. Open up your chest. Nice. Really draw the knuckles down. Release. Yep. Release that. We're going to go to the other side. So find your balance on your left foot. Again, feel all four corners. Get to know your body here. Soft bend in the left knee. Right thigh comes over the left. Maybe make your kickstand. Left arm under the right. Wrap it up. Press into your palms. Lift up. The elbows lift up, yep. So this is like step one. This is still balancing, you're doing it. If you want, begin to wrap, begin to sink. Engage your core. Lift up on your elbows, press into your palms, really opening up the back, straightening out the spine, and breathe. Create some more space. 
Space to try something new. Space to reflect. Space to be present in ego pose. Right here, right now. One more breath. Exhale. And release. Nice. Shake it out. Come to the top of your mat. Bring your hands behind your back. We're going to just clasp. Draw your knuckles down again. And then bow forward with your hands. Clasp. Press, press your knuckles away. And then release your hands down to the mat. Inhale. Halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale. Fold. Plant your hands. Step back to high plank. And then press back to down dog. We're just here so that we can get to pigeon pose. Lift your right leg up high. If you've never done pigeon, just listen carefully and follow along. Bring your right knee behind your right wrist and then plant it down. Swing your right foot up to your left wrist. Drop down to your left knee, untuck your toes. So sometimes your shin could very well be parallel to the top of the mat, but that's not the goal. Mine's not. Your heel, your right heel could be a really far into your groin. That's totally fine. As long as your hips are square. So come up to your fingertips. Make sure your hips are square. So look down. You're not dumping to either side. You're nice and square right here. And you even want a nice long line, straight line from your knee to your hip. So this is pigeon. You can stay right here. If your back knee is tender, maybe gently tuck the toes. Otherwise, they're untucked. Stay right here. Take a breath. And then if you want to come down, you can come to Sleepy Pigeon. Maybe start to walk down your forearms. You can stay right here, or if you want, take your hands, stack one on top of the other, rest your forehead down on the top of your hands. It's going to get really intense here. Come back to your breath. It takes a long time, about 90 seconds for our bodies to soften to these poses. So send some extra breath where you feel tight, where you need space. <laughs> and then if you heard that, that's my son. But when you feel like, like right now, I feel like it's getting more tense for me. Breathe deeper when it gets harder because your body will soften. When the pose gets harder, come back to the breath. When life gets harder, pause and come back to the breath. The breath can carry you through these poses. Create some more space. Use the breath. Take one more breath here. Exhale. You can always pause if you are really feeling this and you just want to stay here. Otherwise, Begin to press yourself up gently. What we're going to do is drop down right from here. Drop down to the right hip. Just like that. Take your left leg. Swing it all the way around. So your left foot's going to come on the outside of your right thigh. Take your left hand behind. Make a kickstand. Sit up nice and tall. So really lengthen through your spine. Inhale. Reach your right arm up. Exhale. Hook your right elbow onto your left thigh and twist. Sit up nice and tall. You can also take your right hand, wrap your arm around your thigh. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, twist, maybe look over your left shoulder. Let's just take one more breath here. Sit up tall. Exhale and twist. Beautiful, come back forward. And you're just going to unwind, swing your legs around, come to your knees, press back, down dog. Nice. If you want from here, take your right leg up high, bend your knee and find some big hip circles. Pigeon pose is a really tough one sometimes. So we like to work out that tenderness and just kind of loosen that up. Bring your right foot back down, down dog, lift your left leg high. Left knee draws in, plant it down behind your left wrist. Swing your left foot up to your right wrist. Drop your right knee, untuck your toes. So again, from your fingertips, go through your checklist. Make sure your hips are square. You're not dumping down either side. Sit up nice and tall. Maybe there's that nice line from knee to hip here. Set it up. Take a breath here. If you want to stay here, stay here. Otherwise, to go further, maybe come down to the forearms. It feels more intense. 
Don't go as far as you feel like you have to. Just go to where you want it and need it to make more space. Otherwise, bring your hands one on top of the other. Drop your forehead down to your hands. This is where it gets pretty intense, so come back to your breath. If your mind is beginning to wander, guide it back. Be here now. Where can you create more peace and stillness and space? What else can you let go? What kind of clutter and toxins can you let go to create more space? Let them go. If you want to pause the video and stay here, feel free. Otherwise, press yourself up gently. Drop down to your left hip. Swing your right leg around. Right foot comes to the outside of your left thigh. Right hand makes a little kickstand. Inhale your left arm up high. Exhale, hook your left elbow onto your thigh and twist. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, twist. Maybe you can wrap your arm around, get deeper in this. Breathe in and lengthen. Breathe out and twist. One more breath here. Exhale. Beautiful. Come back around and unwind that. We're just going to roll it out again. So come back to downward facing dog. Lift the left leg, bend your knee, kind of roll out your hip. Just get any of that out. Loosen it back up. Then bring your left foot down, come down to your knees, swing your legs around, come all the way down to your seat. Gonna face you here. Let's find a butterfly with a turtle option. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Hips are nice and open here. Bring your heels in as much as is comfortable. Use your ankles to sit up tall. Now open your feet like a book. Take your feet, open them like a book. I tell people this all the time because teachers told me to do that and I was like, why? I don't really get it. But all as it's doing, you can even kind of check it out, open your feet, it kind of opens your hips a little bit more. So sit up tall, open your hips. Another thing a teacher once told me is to give myself a little massage while I'm here. So give yourself a little massage. This is an opportunity for self-care, for self-love, to create a little bit more space. You worked really hard on your mat. You worked really hard in your day. Give yourself some gratitude right now. Then from here, just grab onto your ankles. Lengthen through your spine. Sit up nice and tall. You're going to hinge forward from your hips. I like to press my elbows into my thighs as I lean forward. Keep your chest lifted for start. Lean forward. Press open on your thighs. When you feel like you've gone as far as you can go, maybe then you just fold. Here's your option you have butterfly this is butterfly you can stay right here if you want more of a low back stretch i want to teach you this low back stretch um, it is more of a restorative less intense turtle you're going to bring your hands so you can stay butterfly otherwise bring your hands underneath so you're going to bring them underneath your ankles kind of tuck in there reach for your toes wrap your fingers around your toes drop your head down to your feet you're going to feel this across your low back because it's a really nice stretch for your back so wherever you are, maybe you're in turtle, or maybe you're in butterfly. If you're here, if you're still with me, you're right where you need to be. You showed up. That's half the battle. The other half is being present. So bring your mind back to this space. Be here now. Take one more breath, breathe in, breathe out. Begin to press yourself up, unwind, release. 
and bring your feet down, windshield wipe your legs side to side. Just kind of release your spine, release your legs here. We're gonna come all the way down to our backs. Come to lay down on your back, hug your knees into your chest. Just rock side to side on your spine, give yourself a gentle spine massage. And then from here, we're gonna hit a little bit of abs before we twist and lay it all down. So extend your left leg long on the mat. You're gonna hover your left leg over the mat. Extend your right leg up high. Grab onto the back of your thigh. Lift up on your shoulders and your head. So we're gonna do a little scissor. You can be right here. I'm gonna give you a few steps. So maybe grab onto your right calf and then switch sides with control using your core. This is kind of like, well, step one would be tapping down. So you can always tap down. And let's just scissor at your own pace. Maybe you tap down, maybe you catch your thigh. This is like step one. If you wanna to go to step two, catch the outside. So my left hand's coming to the outside of my right calf. Extend your right arm out to the side. And then the right hand catches the outside of the left and the left hand extends out. So you're just kind of twisting over to the sides. So continue at your own pace. Continue to breathe. Take breaks where you need to take breaks. If you want step three, both hands come out to the side as if you're holding a little beach ball because we all wish we were just chilling at the beach right now. Keep your shoulders lifted, your head lifted, twist side to side. Again, wherever you are is where you need to be. This is not easy, but you're here, you're showing up. Just be present. Take a few more rounds. Core is engaged. Shoulders are lifted. Nice. Let's do one more round. I'm to the right and to the left. Beautiful, hug your knees in. Oh, give yourself a nice break and some gratitude. Rock side to side. Awesome. From here, keep your knees where they are. Bring your arms out to a T. Parallel, bring your, um, just out wide on the mat. Bring your palms down. Take a breath in and on your exhale, keep your knees high up on your chest as you drop them over to the left, drop them right down to the left. Maybe you take your left hand onto your knees, press down, look over to your right fingertips. On your inhale, make a little space on your exhale, try to bring your right shoulder down closer to the ground. Twist here, just breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice, come back through center. Arms are in a T, exhale over to the right. Right hand to the thighs or the knees. Look over your left fingertips if it's comfortable. If your neck is kind of sore or you're not comfortable, you can keep your gaze up. Otherwise, on your inhale, make space. And on your exhale, try to look over your left fingertips and bring your left shoulder down. Take a few more breaths here, creating a little bit more space. One more breath. Exhale. Inhale your knees back to center. You can just hug them in, bring your nose to your knees, or if you want, lay your head down and find a happy baby pose. It's a nice last pose. Open your hips, press your heels up, draw your knees down, maybe rock side to side. Allow your hips to open, to soften, to release anything else. And then when you're ready, Bring your legs long on the mat. Bring your heels to the corner edges of your mat. Allow your feet to fall open as if your baby toes got very heavy. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath you. Bring your arms by your sides. Flip your palms up and close your eyes. You stay right there. I am getting up. Don't worry about me. I want to encourage you to find a little extra space here on your mat. Take the next few moments to slow down and be still. And get quiet enough to listen to the voice within. What is your body, mind, and soul craving? Then when you hear that inner voice, heed. 
that inner voice make some space. To finish off our class, I'm going to be singing you a song from India Arya called Sacred Space. And it's all about that place that we go when life gets crazy, when life gets hard. We all need a sacred space. Where's your sacred space? Is it your mat? Is it a good book on your couch? Is it a walk in the neighborhood? Where is it? I want to encourage you to maybe make right now, right here, on your mat or in your living room or wherever you are, your sacred space. Shavasana. Mm -hmm. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Start to invite movement back into your body. Inhale, hug your knees into your chest. Just draw them in. 
Hug them in, maybe bring your nose up to your knees. Take a moment here, and then when you're ready, roll over to your favorite side. Come to fetal position. Keep your knees drawn up into your chest. You can use your arm as a pillow. And just close your eyes and take another moment of rest, of stillness, of peace, of space. Shavasana pose is also standing for corpse pose. It offers you this opportunity to die a little death to something no longer serving you. And in Shavasana pose, you're given this opportunity to shed a weight, to shed a burden, to let go of something you're clinging to that is only weighing you down. So let it go. And this really beautiful picture, you rolled over to fetal position. What you let go is behind you. You no longer need it. It's no longer weighing you down. So leave it behind you. Let it go. Get rid of it. And in fetal position, give yourself a chance for a brand new start. You're not who you were. You're not what you left behind you. You are the you that you are right now, and that is all that matters. You're right where you're supposed to be. Maybe shed some more clutter, shed some more toxic feelings and thoughts. Let them go. And then when you're ready, press yourself up gently and slowly to a comfortable seated position. You can cross your legs, sit up nice and tall, bring your palms together at your heart, press your thumbs in, close your eyes. My hope for you is that you were able to create some space. I invite you to create space wherever you are, with whoever you're with. Find your sacred space and go there often. The light in me sees and honors the light in you, even through a screen, through YouTube, I know you're shining bright in your world and the world needs you. So shine bright, yogi friend. Bowing forward, we wish each other namaste. Thank you.